Welcome back everybody. And today we're gonna to ask the age old question, what does AI chat GPT say the best car content creator is? Today I got Kevin actually physically with me today. And we're gonna go through the top 10. How many is it? Seven. seven, the top seven best car content creators according to chat GPT. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more videos similar to this one. Let's get right into it. At number seven is who? The straight pipes. The straight pipes? So first of all, I've seen the straight pipes before. So number seven, that's pretty valid. What are they at, like 3 million subscribers? 1.65. 1.65, that's great. That's exactly 1.65 million more than I have. So that's pretty great. Um, just right off the bat, production quality is pretty good. I, I like it. I like the video. I've always liked the straight pipes. I think they put a really good value into it. They drive it around. They, they do a thorough car review that's actually entertaining. Um, I don't know, what, seven out of 10? Since they are number seven, seven out of 10. All right, who's the next one? Who's, who's number six? Alex on Auto. So let's see who Alex on Auto is. I don't, I don't know who Alex on Auto is. I've heard of the straight pipes. I've never heard of Alex on Autos. Granted, I don't always follow every single car reviewer. Um, it's kind of hard to keep up sometimes. And sometimes it's like, there's only so much you could do from a different angle unless you're kind of like the straight pipes who do like a little bit more of a production property uh, to it, like a little more cinematic kind of mode behind it. Or you're similar to, uh, who did I mention earlier? Uh, Throttle House? That was Throttle House. Or unless you're like Throttle House where you actually do like specific skits and like kind of themed episodes behind uh, the actual new car you're reviewing versus like maybe its old counterpart or what makes it different from every other car in its class. And then so, so play this guy's, I don't know, is his most popular video there. So what, what, what's his name again? Uh, Alex on Autos. So Alex on Autos, what a terrible name, but somehow he's number six. Let's see. 480,000 subscribers. 480,000 subscribers, but yet he's number six but the straight pipes are number seven. A decent number of EV shoppers had truly hoped that Toyota would burst out of the EV. I hate everything about this. Pause it. So this is Doug DeMeo Light. So Alex on Autos, Doug DeMeo Light, L-I-T-E. Just kind of watch a little bit of his, uh, what is it, the BZ4A? What is it? BZ4X. Yeah. Just the first 15 seconds of his BZ4X video, I'm already put to sleep. Like he's out, the lighting is bad, the sun's directly in his eyes. His face is lit up like a Christmas tree because of his translucent skin. I, I, I can't. Alex on Autos, hey, more kudos to you. You got 480,000 more subscribers than I do. I don't know how you beat out the straight pipes for number six through the chat GBT, but hey, I mean, I say, what? He, I would say he's more ninth out of 10 than six, but hey, they only gave us seven, so whatever. Who's number five? Regular car reviews. What are these names? Regular car reviews. I mean, I mean, not, is mine any better? Mookie here is not any better. That doesn't invoke that I actually know anything about anything, and most of my comments say that I don't. Um, okay, so regular car reviews. I think I've heard of, yeah, I've seen that logo. I think I've heard of regular car reviews. Go to that one, surprisingly good. What's that supposed to be? I think he's British. Is this British? 2011 Volvo C30 T5 R design. I'm all. I I don't. Let's go to the next one. Who's number four? I don't even have. I don't have words for this guy. The Volvo Coupe. What is it? C411. What is it? C30 T5 R design. C30 T5 R design. Like I thought I had no cars to review. Jesus Christ. 875,000. 875,000 subscribers. 11 out of 10. Wait, wait, so he was number five. Yeah. 11, 11 out of 10, as in bad. Number one being good. He should be in 11th place. Uh, Savage Geese is number three? Four. Four? Four. Four. Yeah. Savage Geese. I've actually heard of Savage Geese. I don't don't play a video from his yet, but I think that I kind of remember in my head who he kind of was. I think he does like a, a, a body list or like faceless kind of review. Um, I think he just does it based on like footage or maybe test driving the vehicle, but let's find out. I've, if this was from what I remember, but I remember his videography being pretty good. How many subscribers does he have? 673,000. 
673. See, like, he has 673,000, but then regular car guy doing the worst freaking Volvo coupe on the face of the planet. I feel like Savage Geese should have more. What do you think? We'll, we'll see right now. Yeah, we'll see right now. The 2023 Nissan Frontier. I like him. 10 out of 10. But like 10 out of 10, good, not 10th place. I, I think he's great in fourth place. He deserves more subscribers. Go to subscribe to Savage Geese. I think, I, I, his name's weird, but I mean, mine isn't any better, again. But surprisingly, only 600,000 it was? 600,000 subscribers? Surprisingly, 600,000 subscribers. The quality's there. The quality's there. I like his voice. Like it's, you know, intriguing to listen to. From what I remember about his videos, the, Visually, they're very interesting. The cuts are good, that it's a good. He doesn't, do, I, I thought he was a different YouTuber who does a lot of cinematic stuff. Um, not too much, but I do like um, his style. It's, you know, kind of a mishmash, kind of a hybrid, but Savage Geese, I think he should have more. Um, he was number three. He was number, he was number three, number four. Number four. Number four, rightful place, great, but I definitely think he deserves a million. If the number seven spot has, what, 2.6 million, he definitely deserves it. All right, who's number three? So the channel is the Smoking Tire. The yes. Creator is Matt Farah. So I don't know Matt Farah, but I know the Smoking Tire. Um, I believe I've seen their blog post before they really started blowing up. How many subscribers do they have? One point zero seven. One point zero seven million. You're telling the 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 Smoking Tire has one point zero seven million and a picture of a what is it a Lotus Elise on the top there? It looks like. I it. think it is a Lotus Elise, or it's the the other one. The I forget what the other one's name. It's not the Amira, but the, the other one in between. All right, yeah, click, 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 uh, yeah, click the first video. There is nothing about the new Bentley GT Speed that isn't impressive. Yeah, there's nothing about it that is impressive. That, I agree with him wholeheartedly. That's not what he said, right? He oh, said yeah. that there is, that, that it is impressive or that it's not impressive? Rewind it, do it again. What does he say? Five years later. But oh, isn't. isn't impressive. Strongly disagree, Matt Fer Farah? Wrong. Matt fail. Get out of here. One one million for the smoking tire. Get out of here. Whatever. It's, it's con the the freaking no, Continental that's GT. Three. So that's number three. You deserve to get number eight. What number eight spot? Get out of here. No offense, Matt Farah. I just. What are you talking about? The Bentley, my guy. What? The Joe Biden of of luxury cars. Get out of here. Who's number two? Chris Harris on cars. Chris Hemsworth on cars. I didn't know the Thor did car reviews. Jeez, wow. and you were and you were bagging my logo. His logo just says cars. It just says cars. It might as well say Lightning McQueen. How many subscribers? Four fifty four. Baloney. Four fifty four, and I barely have a hundred oh, of you he, people. He doesn't post. Last post was six years ago. Last post was six years ago, and he still has... Number two. And he's still number two spot. What are you doing, Chat GPT? You weren't even a thing six years ago. How are you, Chat GPT and Chris... What is it? Chris, Chris ha Harris. Chris Harris. Camilla Harris on cars. That's as relevant as this is. If I heard Camilla Harris talking about the new Prius or the Continental GT from Bentley. This is ridiculous. Why is he even... He shouldn't even be on this list. Disqualified. Big X. Spongebob meme. Go. Who's, who's, okay, that's number two. That's number two? Not even Forrest Auto Reviews is number two, and he's like the Kevin Hart of auto reviews. I love you, Forrest. You're living my life, but I love you. I think this is number one. I don't even want to. Oh. I know we previewed this list because of the footage, but I don't. This, 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 there's also this, 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 I can't, I can't, I don't know how Doug DeMeo is crowned. Number one car reviewer. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. That's like, I don't even have a good analogy. I don't, I don't know. 
I don't have any words. I, I, Doug DeMeo, I hate you. I hate you so much. Your quirk and feature is that you're a ding dong. I can't stand you. How many subscribers? 4.7 million. 4.7 million suckers on your account. For you to point at a car and give it a Doug score in comparison to your broken down, disgusting Land Rover. Don't think I don't know your early videos. I remember Doug DeMeo when you were back at like 50,000 or 100,000 subscribers. I remember I was there. No one believed me. No, and they still don't. That you're a knucklehead. And I can't take it. I can't believe he's number one. Chat GPT, I won't be going to you for any advice in the future because you're obviously extremely unaware of how tapioca pudding Doug DeMeo is. Get us out of here and done. Thank you guys so much today for tuning in. I was very curious about the most relevant or at least the most prominent uh, car content reviewers uh, or car content producers uh, in the game today. And a uh, majority of them are uh, irrelevant or Doug DeMeo uh, or what's his name? Uh, Chris Hemsworth on cars who hasn't posted in six years. The last time he posted, what was six years from, from today? Was it 2023? What's six years? Uh, 2019? No. 2018? I can't math. 2017. So you tell me the last time this guy posted a video, we still had... What discontinued in 2017? Oh, you're telling me that the last time this guy made a video, we still had a Dodge Viper. What is, what is happening? Hot damn! Called it! Let's get out of here.